my name is Sarah. I'm one of the technician assistants in the surgery department. And today we're going to be talking about how to remove a compression bandage at home. This is Creamer. He's going to be our assistant today. Uh, he is sporting one of the most common types of bandages that we will send home and instruct a client to remove on their own. Um, this is over his stifle or his knee, and this comes down all the way to the tip of his toes. Most often we'll send these home with the instruction to remove in something like 72 hours, but it's going to be very dependent on your specific pet, their issues, their doctor's recommendation. So this one specifically has been uh, modeled after a 72 hour compression bandage, similar to what you would receive after some TPLO surgeries, MPL surgeries, or corrective knee surgeries of some kind. Uh, so to remove these bandages, we always want to ensure that we are unwrapping layer by layer rather than cutting through any of the material. Their skin underneath is incredibly elastic and it is very, very easy to accidentally nick, cut, or cause serious damage to them underneath the bandage material. So to start this, if you have a compliant pet, you can do this on your own. Sometimes a little bit of head rubbies on the top also helps them be a little bit more compliant and less wiggly during this process. But you want to start by finding one end of one of the materials. Hi, thank you. So this material at the bottom here is called Elasticon. This is one of the most sticky and elastic parts of the bandage. You want to find an end and unwrap. And there, there might be additional pieces, depending on the bandage. Every bandage is a little bit different. We'll have that off there. This next wrap is called Vet Wrap. Uh, this is going to have an end somewhere, either at the top, the middle, or the bottom of the bandage. Depends on how it was placed. But you'll find an end somewhere that should be able to peel off. From there, you're going to be wrapping it around and around and around, slowly working your way up or down the leg, depending on where the start of the wrap was. Okay. Depending on the length of the leg, you might have more than one piece. That's fine. You'll just have to find where the next piece ends and continue unwrapping. So then next you're going to find a gauze compressive layer and some are going to have these white pieces of tape on the bottom. We call these stirrups. They help keep the bandage upright rather than slouching down the leg. Not every bandage is going to have stirrups, but if you do find some tape, that's normal. To get these off, we'll peel the tape from the brown gauze. Sometimes we have one on the inside and the outside or the front and the back, depending. And then you'll be able to find the end of the brown gauze somewhere in here. There we go. Continue unwrapping. All right, so now that we have the gauze off, we're going to get down to the cotton padding layer underneath. We'll find an end. Continue to unwrap. Have another layer there, so I'll find where it ends. This time it's at the bottom. Another new start. You might notice as you get towards the end of the cotton padding, you will start to see some skin or fur exposure. If your pet did have any issues where they required an incision to be made surgically, if they had a wound that we were covering, anything like that, you may notice that there could be some blood, some incision exposure. You want to make sure we're keeping an eye on that and being sensitive to those areas. Uh, since this is not a post-surgery patient, I don't have to be as careful of those things, but if you do know there is an incision, something there, there could be a little bit of the material into the incision, trying to be as gentle as possible removing those, not trying to take too long, ripping off a band-aid kind of thing, but being very sensitive to any areas that could be tender. Now we are at the final bit here. We have the remaining bit of the tape stirrups that we talked about earlier. A lot of dogs are sensitive with their toes, so they might not like this part as much. Being very careful to be sensitive of that. We try not to rip the stirrups from the bottom up. That is going to wax him and that is uncomfortable. So finding at the top of the bandage, going with the hair grain, pulling down towards the toes is a lot more gentle and they will react a lot less to that. There's one on the inside of the leg here too. Picking at that edge, pulling it down 
towards his foot, not waxing him is much preferred. If they are fighting during any of this process, if they're uncomfortable during any of this process, stopping to give some love, give some snacks, give them some attention, giving them a little bit of a break is always encouraged. Just trying to make sure we don't drag out the process so they don't get too stressed overall. That's how you remove a compression bandage at home.